It's not just Fed policy. It's also just a generally strong uh, consumer confidence that we see at this point of time. Uh, the economy has looked strong uh, for years, and especially since Trump uh, took the presidency. And I think we're just in an exuberant time. And people find these rate increases as normal, given the economic conditions. But, Professor, can uh, both consumers and investors stomach the pace that we've seen in terms of the increase? Even, even if it was expected, it has spillover effects. Yeah. Well, I think the uh, Fed is, well, careful. and It, it has been tightening now for a while, uh, but at a very measured pace. I don't think it's creating any alarm uh, at the present time. We're, we're, I think, it, you know, I, I said this is an exuberant time, but it's also a complacent time. We've just seen such steady uh, uh, growth. Uh, we, we had a recent uh, over 4% GDP growth number. People extrapolate those things, and uh, right now they're not, they're not so worried about interest rate increases. So do you think uh, if, if, in fact, people are complacent, what are they complacent about the possibility of? That, in fact, growth falters? That, in fact, the, this rise in interest rates is not necessarily purely a signal about better times? Where do you think the blind spots might be? Yeah, I, I think the complacency is a, is a somewhat an inattention complacency. We, we've been, remember this thing about Kavanaugh. We've been concerned with other things. The economy seems to be coasting upward. But this kind of complacency, this kind of confidence, I think, is volatile. In the past, this kind of confidence could be disrupted uh, mysteriously sometimes with a market correction. Wanted to ask you about your expertise in housing and how you see these higher rates impacting the housing market, which was already looking a bit shaky. A bit shaky is, yeah. In our latest S&P CoreLogic uh, Case Shiller report, uh, we, we noted that there's a weakening of home price increases, but they're still going up at a good pace nationally. There are some cities, Seattle, uh, New York, Boston, that have shown a lot of weakening, but it's still not uh, falling. Uh, I, I, I think that um, uh, th these housing uh, Weakness has to do somewhat with the trade war, although you might think it shouldn't. But the uh, the idea that we're going to have Chinese uh, invest or foreign investors pushing up home prices is a, hmm. a bit of a downer at the mo moment. Uh, so yeah, the question is whether this is a turning point I'm, uh, in the housing market. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about that, but not ready to call that.